Just a few weeks ago, the name Nathan Evans likely didn't mean all that much to many people, but now he's landed number one spot in the official Big Top 40 music chart, having seemingly come from absolutely thin air. He beat Olivia Rodrigo's driver license or Ed Sheeran's Afterglow. Okay, but how did we get here? Well, how the person that never even had live concert, live performance in front of people got to first place within days. Hello everybody, my name is Katrinka and today we're gonna look at the phenomena of Nathan Evans and the new obsession of internet with sea shanties. In the second part of the video, I will also look at the Wellerman, which is the sea shanty that actually got Nathan to the very top. And I'm gonna look at it as a vocal coach and a professional singer. And we're gonna try to find out what was that magic potion that Nathan Found. Someone is looking for eternal youth and someone is looking for the TikTok algorithm. So what was actually the reason for this song, The Weller Man, or better said, the phenomena of sea shanty to completely explode on the internet? Well, it was precisely TikTok and since it actually came out, it's literally a new viral craze which is called sea shanties. Or it's even dubbed hashtag shanty talk. Nathan actually shared and sunk covers of Pop and Folk Kids on the TikTok for quite some time. It was approximately a year and he started to take quite a lot of requests. It was one hot night of July 2020. We are making this way too dramatic. But it was in July 2020 when he got first request for a sea shanty. He even admitted that he didn't really know a lot about sea shanty. He used to sing, honestly, I didn't know much about sea shanties, but now you can call me a fan, and rightfully so. It was a New Zealand's 19th century sea shanty called Wellerman that actually captured everyone's attention. He busted it on TikTok on 27th of December and it got millions, millions of views. So why did this one work? There are kind of two sides to the thing. First of all is actual TikTok algorithm and the second one is actually the whole vibe of the sea shanty and the way Nathan actually sang it. He said himself that his accent helped a lot because American followers absolutely adore his accents as well as everyone is currently locked inside and no one goes outside. People are searching for that sweet sweet serotonin. And even though it's 200 years since the sailors were actually singing these shanties on the sea to pick up the morale, it's obviously still working. Now on the other side, of course, it was not just uh, the positivity that helped this song. Something that was very significant, at least for a TikTok algorithm, was the fact that people duetted this massively and hundreds of people actually do it to this song which really helped its algorithm to spread it absolutely everywhere sea shanties have an amazing rhythm and uh, they are really easy to vocalize to to sing to this kind of song is a blessing there's been people with beautiful deep tone quality and combine up to a really high register type of singer so you have the whole spectrum of singers singing with nathan and it just it created the magic people added harmonies people added instrumentation and in one case even reworked the whole song into a techno club banger. The whole thing got so viral and so popular that basically everyone jumped on the bandwagon and even the internet's favorite Elon Musk added the rendition of the song. As for Nathan, he quit his job as a boss man because he was too busy. Imagine everyone's probably greeting him at the door with a sea shanty and we don't want him to get fed up with those. He signed with Polydor Records, so he is now a signed artist. For all we know about his future music is that he's gonna be releasing five sea shanties on the EP. So if you are still or you became a brand new sea shanty fan, you got you baby girl. You're gonna get five, five sparkling brand new sea shanties. So now that we've looked at the whole phenomena, let's look at the song itself. All right, so this is uh, Nathan Evans Wellerman, but it's actually shanty talk mashup because I thought that I'm gonna actually show you what actually developed from the original Wellerman and uh, what actually made this song so popular and uh, how amazing it is, the result. So let's see. To see the name of the ship was a belly of tea. The winds blew up her bow, dipped down below my belly boys blow. 
Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She had not been two weeks from shore when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Just before everyone's gonna jump in, uh, I honestly do believe that he has a very good tone quality for this kind of a song, especially when a lot of people want to join. His kind of tone quality is quite neutral, so you can join a lot of deeper voices, but also much brighter voices, and it's gonna look very good. Soon may the weatherman come to bring Ooh. us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. The low voices are just beautiful in that mashup. I like that the ladies actually did quite an interesting harmony on top of that. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She had not been two weeks from shore when down on her a right whale bore. It almost the forces you to move with it. And swore it take, take that whale in tow. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. A lot of voices that are actually joining right now are quite similar to his tone quality. So they are at the kind of same level, but they are harmonizing so differently as he is that they are just adding tons of beautiful textures and the whole thing is just starting to be super substantial. A lot of flavors, a lot of layers. It sounds amazing. <laughs> One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She had not been two weeks from shore and down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whales Oh, that's a beautiful harmony. And to the side, her and fodder when she died down low. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea There's and so rum. many bases, it's crazy. Done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our I, didn't <laughs> I didn't expect this as well. This is amazing. Traditional instruments definitely fit in so well. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her. And to the side, her pinned and fought her when she died down low. I am so thrilled that they actually added the violin to uh, the whole mix because it suited fantastically. A violin is just one of those instruments that go so well with this type of music. Ah, oh, I am living for this. She had not been two weeks from shore when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands on shore. <laughs> he'd take that whale and tow. 
Look at his laps. <laughs> EDMC Shanties 2021. Good point for you. Okay, this completely blew me away. I think that by now, most of you understand why this blew up so, so much. This has connected people all around the world with the different music tastes, with the love for different music genres. And uh, who the heck knew it's gonna be a sea shanty? Like, we tried everything. Do you remember the catastrophic celebrities singing, Imagine all the people. Imagine there's no heaven. God, they should have sang Sea Shanty. Like, come on. I do believe that we can award 2021 with a one good point for Sea Shanties. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe right here if you want to continue on watching. This is something that YouTube algorithm actually chose for you. Exactly, especially for you. And this is the collection of my music commentary videos. I hope you stay safe and healthy. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye-bye.